Alexis Elcano, Batanes. Natalia Hadlaria Urja, Batangas. Skelly, Ivy, Florida, Piliran. <laughs> Pauline Cucharo, Amlings, Bohol. Dayanela Peralta Loya, Ulacan. <laughs> Morena Camarines Sur. Sigrid Grace Flores Catanduanes. Billy Hawkinson Cavite. Tracy Maureen Perez Cebu City. April Smith Cebu Province. <laughs> Eliza Flora Molino Davao City. Well, I'm Ronquillo Ahmed. Double Del Norte. Mariel Joyce Pasqua, General Santos City. Adelma Crisel Benigna, Iloca Sur. Rabia Oxenia Mateo, Iloilo City. Kim Crisaldo, Iloilo Province.
Maria Regina Malana, Isabella. Noreen Victoria Mangawit, Kalinga. Trisha Bartolomeo Campo, La Union. Joanne De La Torre Flores, Laguna. Ivana Camille Sepicentra Passes, Makati City. Lou Dominique Pixon, Mandawe. Alexandra Don, Manila. Maria Lianina Makalino, Marinduque. Caroline Joy Veronilia, Misamis Oriental. Mary Chris Valdez Castro, Montin Lupa. Adi Tommy Ariate Akiyama, Oriental Mindoro. Jennifer Linda Palawan. Patricia Pineda Santos, Pampanga. Maria Nina Copuyok Soriano, Pangasinan. Isabella Rojas Ismael, Paranaque City. Sandra Nicole Santa Maria, Pasay City. Rihanna Agata Pangindian, Pasig City. Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabaw, Quezon City. Faye Dominic Babiera de Vesa, Quezon Province. Erica Evangelista, Rizal. Maria Fetaharan, Romblon. Carissa Kiza, Surigao del Norte. Sandra Raimundo Lemonon, Taguig City. Perlene Yamota Cayuna, Tumbuanga del Sur. Mabuhay, Philippines! Mabuhay, universe! That was an amazing opening number featuring our phenomenal delegates. And of course, 2011 Miss Universe third runner-up, Shamsi Soup Soup Lee. Round of applause. Yes, and of course, our American Idol runner-up and Pinoy Pride, Jessica Sanchez. My name is Casey Montero, coming to you from the Cordillera Convention Hall of Baguio Country Club, and you are watching the coronation coverage of Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Now, amidst the challenges that are being experienced by the country, well, actually by the universe, so to speak, we have managed to be resilient. As always, we have revitalized and refreshed in our optimistic outlook in pursuit of that sweet smell of success. Just as Downey's sweetheart gives swish freshness that is refreshing and long-lasting every single day. I assure you that after eight months of training and preparation, each one of our empowered contenders are all set right here for the final stage of their race to victory. So stay with us. The competition heats up right here in Baguio City. This is the very first Miss Universe Philippines 2020. We are 
we're chasing after our dreams. But pause when we are called to help queens. Helping queens. We may be here to compete, but we take time to lift each other up. We are the candidates of the 2020 Miss Universe Philippines. is the inaugural edition of Miss Universe Philippines franchise. This is also the first to stream worldwide by subscribing to the Ring Light series of Empire.ph. Now since February 14th, our candidates have gone through media conferences, pre-pageants, trainings, pictorials, a lot of things, and after many unforeseen, many unforeseen delays, we are finally here for the final phase of the competition. On October 21st, the preliminary competition was held here at the Cordillera Convention Hall, and as expected, some of our contenders stood among the rest, and our generous sponsors definitely noticed their exceptional physical features and marvelous performances in various categories. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the deserving winners of our special awards. And there you have it. Congratulations to the winners of our special corporate and graded performance awards. We have one more special citation. Now, during the pre-pageant period, our delegates were required to come up with their city's or provincial tourism video. And the best tourism video belongs to Miss Batanes, Jan Alexis Alcano. Thank you so much, Ms. Batanes. One of the places I've told her that I need to go in the Philippines, and now after watching that video, I'm going. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So in December 2019, the Miss Universe Philippines franchise was awarded to a new organization with 2011 Miss Universe third runner-up, Shamsi Supsup Lee as its national director, and of course, Jonas Gafud as the creative director. Yes. After over 10 months together with their board of directors, they have succeeded in conquering the surmountable uh, challenges, the, the so many problems that could be happening during this time before and during this pandemic. Their unwavering vision has brought us all the way here to tonight's final stage for the pageant for which is going to be the best one in the country. The best one in the universe. They have invited distinguished men and women to rank and decide who is the most deserving of the most coveted crown. For the Miss Universe Philippines Organization's Board of Directors, National Director, Shamsi Supsup Lee. Creative Director, Jonas Gafud. Design Council Head, Albert Andrada. Head of Women Empowerment Committee and Charity, Leah Ramos. Head of Legal Affairs, Attorney Nad Bronce. Business Development and Marketing Head, Mario Garcia. 
It is time to meet the forces behind Miss Universe Philippines and our illustrious Board of Judges. A multi-awarded actor, an LGBT icon, founder of Contra Gutom Feeding Program, and co-founder of Asia's number one and biggest health and beauty marketing company, Front Row. The dashing celebrity businessman, R.S. Francisco. As congressman representing Act CIS Party List, chairperson of the House Committee of Appropriations and designated legislative caretaker of the Lone District of Benguet, he is focused on uplifting the lives of the marginalized and addressing the needs of various sectors. Congressman Eric Yap. Lawyer, law professor, former lawmaker, and currently the presidential spokesperson and the spokesperson for the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases, Secretary Harry Roque. The general manager of JCA Productions and the president of the Philippine Fashion Coalition representing all sectors of the fashion industry, Jackie C. Aquino. Chief Executive Officer of IPG Media Brands Philippines and past Senior Executive at McCann World Group and Chairman of the Zenith Optimedia. She has won awards at Cannes, Spikes, FOMA, and nine Agency of the Year awards, Miss Venus Navalta. Currently an international agency signed model in the US, she has worked with brands like VS, Pink, Shiseido, Puma, to name a few. Miss Universe 2012 first runner-up, Janine Tagodnon. The woman behind Baguio City's beloved leader, Mayor Benji Magalong, her main advocacies are directed towards helping the youth and the elderly in Baguio City. She has been involved in outreach programs in support of the city's 15-point core agenda. The awe-inspiring, Baguio First Lady Arlene Magalo. Group Director for Media, Procter and Gamble Philippines, the makers of Downey and Olay, Mr. Arthur Benya. The trailblazing co-founder and CEO of the number one and biggest marketing company in Asia, Front Row. And the man behind Front Row Cares, Mr. Sam Versosa. <music> to our board of judges, I wish you all the best of luck. Having seen all of the delegates in the preliminaries, you guys definitely have a very difficult job. Remember that everyone around the world and in the Philippines are watching you. Okay, so good luck with that. On this historic occasion, not only are we blessed with the most empowered contenders, we are also graced by the presence of some of the most loved past winners who proudly represented our country in the last decade. Miss Universe 2010, fourth runner-up, Venus Ra. Miss Universe 2012, first runner up, Janine Tugunon.
Miss Universe 2011 third runner-up and the national director of Miss Universe Philippines, Shamsi Sopsop Lee. And now you have met the visionaries and decision makers behind the pageant, as well as some of the most awe-inspiring past winners. We will soon find out who still has a chance to represent our country in the Miss Universe pageant. I will be announcing the top 15 contenders right after this break. Beauty is universal. Beauty can be found everywhere. Beauty is not only how you look, but how you feel. Beauty chooses no background or color. Beauty comes from within. Beauty is most evident in helping others. Beauty exists in unity. Make your life in the universe a beautiful one. Be in the front row universe! Only at front row. Mahal palala ang Lux White, Lux Lemax, Red Light, Lux Protect ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa alamang uli ng sa... My creations bring out the confidence and innate beauty within a person that makes my heart beat. I am Erica Evangelista and I am a fashion designer at heart. I've always been fascinated of the elegance of playing chess. My heart beats for that Eureka moment when I finally figure out the right move. I am Rabia Mateo and in my heart, I am an athlete. My heart beats for continuous self-improvement. To successfully empower others, you have to start with yourself first. I am Carissa Kiza, and at heart, I am a fitness enthusiast. The euphoria you get when you finish an artwork, that makes my heart beat. Going after your passion brings out the best kind of happiness. And the happy heart adds to cart. I am Jan Alexis Alcano, and I am a painter and a self-care advocate at heart. We are phenomenal women, and we go where our hearts beat.
All right, based on their scores in the preliminary interview, swimsuit and long gown competition, 15 contenders have emerged on the top of the list. Now, aside from them, one more candidate will join the top 15. Now, this candidate has garnered the highest number of votes in the voting page conducted by Lazada, the official e-commerce partner of Miss Universe Philippines. So from October 15th to the 22nd, our delegates received almost uh, 300,000 votes um, of over 2 million votes total. So that person is the person I will be announcing right now, and she will join the top 15. This means I will be calling out 16 names who will move on to the next round. I will call on our delegates by batch and reveal who among them have made it to our top 16. But let's first begin with our first batch of delegates who are on stage right now. I will announce Lazada's top vote getter who will receive 100,000 pesos worth of Lazada wallet credits, which she can use to shop for Lazada's upcoming 1111 sale, which happens on November 11th. Plus another 100,000 pesos cash for her chosen charity. And uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and announce that right now. The Lazada top vote getter happens to belong to our first batch of contenders, who I mentioned earlier, who is on stage right now. 300,000 votes of over 2 million votes altogether. She is none other than Miss Biliran Skelly Ivy Florida. And her chosen charity is the Learners with Special Education Needs of the Dep Ed Division of Biliran. Congratulations, Miss Skelly. You are now automatically into the top 16. List of our top 15, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of CSIP Gores and Valayo Company, our official tabulators. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right? That's what we got to do. We remain very, very safe here, yes? All right. From the first batch of candidates, aside from Miss Biliran, three women have made it into our top 16. Here we go. Starting with Miss Albay Paula Ortega. Next up, we have Miss Bohol Pauline Amalinx. The last one from this batch, Miss Aklan, Christelle Abelio. All right, moving on to our second batch of empowered contenders from this batch. We have five, five from this batch, all right? And here we go with our first contender from this batch from Ilo Ilo City. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have from Cebu City, Tracy Marine Perez. And next, from Davao City, Eliza Malinao. Our fourth contender for this group from Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson.
Congratulations. Also in the top 16 from Cebu Province, April Smith. All right, moving on to our third batch of candidates. And remember, this is in no particular order. This is as random as it comes. All right, so for this batch, we actually have two contenders. From batch three, joining the top 16, we have Miss Masamis Oriental. <laughs> Caroline Joy Veranilia. Also making it into the top 16 from Mandawe, Lou Dominique Pixon. All right, we have our final batch of delegates. And from this group, we will get five to finish off our top 16. Let's welcome to the top 16 from Tagig. Sandra Lemonon. Congratulations, we are now down to our last four. Also joining her in the top 16. From Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Here we go to our final three to round off our top 16. From Romblon, Marie Faye Taharan. All right, here we go to our final two of our top 16. Here we go. From Pasig, Rihanna Agatha Pangindian. All right, we are now down to our final contender to make it into the top 16. Let me just say that to all of our contenders, to all of the beautiful women that joined so far, you have all been phenomenal and amazing. So let's find out who already will make it into the top 16 and have a chance at winning that crown. Are you ready? To the 57 people here. <laughs> all right, here we go, rounding it to the top 16. From Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Congratulations. So from over a thousand who auditioned to the official delegates who have made it all the way here, we are now down to our top 16. So congratulations, ladies, for making it this far. One of you will be crowned Miss Universe Philippines, but you have to go through some more challenges. It would not be that easy, all right? We have more things for you guys to do to make it to the finish line, and that first test will happen in a second. We will test your public speaking ability in expressing your thoughts and winning our hearts, all within 30 seconds. Ready or not, that's coming up next. We'll be right back. And we are back here at the Baguio Country Club, the first and only five-star mountain resort in the Philippines. 
Now, during one of the pre-pageant sessions, our candidates, along with Miss Universe 2019, Zozobini Tunzi, she actually imparted on them that this is an opportunity of a lifetime. As you journey through this, find what it is that makes you who you are. Well, in a few minutes, we're actually going to have a better idea of who our top 16 finalists truly are when they get a chance to speak from their hearts and minds. And we would like to emphasize that they are also allowed to communicate in any language or dialect that they feel comfortable within, whether it's English, Filipino, or their own local dialect. We have interpreters on standby for that. So this is a crucial round of the competition. I will read the topic. You have 30 seconds to speak. When you hear this chime, you must immediately stop and I will call on the next finalist. Why don't we go ahead and let's begin with our first finalist from Biliran. Hello, Skelly, how are you? Hello, Casey, I feel great today. Do you feel great? Over 300,000 people voted for you. How does that make you feel? I really feel overwhelmed and I really didn't expect it to be that much. And I'm so happy and I want to thank everyone who voted for me. Thank you so much. So here we go with your first topic. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. As a beauty queen, I know that I can be greater because we are a voice, a spokesperson to others. And as, as I stand in here, I know that I can really inspire someone, even just one person. And I know that that person can be greater, just like me, because I am standing here representing my province with pride. And I know someone will be inspired by the things that I do. And they will also do the same in the near future. And they will be greater also. Thank you. Thank you very much, Skelly. All right, here we go now with our second contender. Hello there, uh, Miss Albay. It says here that you love babies, dogs, and dancing. Correct. Which one do you love the most? Why do you have to choose? I'll choose all three. Okay, that works for me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, topic. It's not a question. You get 30 seconds to answer this or uh, give your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Well, to do that, I was, it was about finding myself, to know, to know what I want to do in my life, to find my core values, and then from there, instill it to other people, to make them passionate, to know what you want to do in your life in order to become greater, to become phenomenal for the universe. Thank you so much, Ms. Albay. All right, our next contender is Miss Bohol. How are you de doing, uh, Pauline? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Uh, oh, no one ever asked me questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I not have done that? It's okay. So I'll go ahead and read what you're supposed to comment on instead. All right, you have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. I can be a positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self, and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way, because we are greater in our own rights. Thank you so much, Ms. Bohol, Pauline Amalinks. All right, now we have Miss Aklan, Christelle Abelio. It says here that you have competed internationally in sports. What sport is that? Basketball and volleyball. Oh, uh, what position? I played outside hitter for volleyball, and then for basketball, I played, um, uh, <laughs> sorry. And then for basketball, I played um, th third point. I played bench. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't play basketball. I'm not very good at it. Okay. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. Throughout my journey, I have, gr just like my sisters and I, we have all grown into the phenomenal woman that we are today. And I believe that with this journey and through this pageant, that we have all grown to really... 
um, to believe in ourselves and to have the confidence to really extend ourselves, not just in, for our community, but for the rest of the universe. And I believe that in order to make an impact to the rest of the universe, it is our responsibility to use our platform and to use our influence. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aklan Cristel Abelio. All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Yudo City, Rabia Mateo. All right, next up we have Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. How are you, Tracy? I'm feeling excited. Thank All you right. so much for this opportunity. It says here that you like flip top culture, like the hip hop rap battle thing. Yes, that's absolutely it. You ready to battle? Let's do it. <laughs> let's let's don't do it. Let's let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's not, not do it. Okay, I get not it. Not a good <laughs> idea for me. Okay, so here is your uh, comment, please. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have thirty seconds. In order for me to be able to create a positive and lasting impact to the world. I would always use my experiences because that is the best possible way in order for me to be able to relate to people, to connect to people, relating with them through my experiences. I've lived a challenging life all throughout my life and I know that a lot of people all over the world will be able to personally relate to my story and if given this platform, I will be able to share that story to the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Cebu City, Tracy Marine Perez. All right, our next contender is Miss Davao City, Eliza Flor Malinao, and uh, she actually represented the Philippines and Asia's Next Top Model before, yes? Yes. So how does it feel being on the stage again here? Um, excited. Okay. Uh, just like Ate Teresa Licar said, I'm happy to be asked. Okay. All right, so uh, your question that we need a uh, comment on is this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Nag-appeal ko diri sa pageant na gusto na ko ipakita ang tinuod na ako. Um, expected diri sa pageant na you have to be prim and proper and you have to speak in English. And karon na magstory ako ng Bisaya, gusto na ako na maghatag og way sa mga nasa probinsya na kailangan nila mag-speak up para madungog sila maski unsang lingwahe ang ilahang gamiton. Lalo na karon na kailangan nato tabangan ng mga babae sa maski asang lugar kay maybe na sila sa ilang balay karon og kailangan nila og tabang, kailangan nato sila madungo og ang lingwahe ihatag nato sa ilaha. Next up, Miss Cavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson. Hello. Hi, good evening, Casey. Hi, you know what? Of everyone who has come here on stage, there's only one person who has shorter hair than you. That's me, by the way. Yeah. Are you cold? I'll get there. Oh, are you cold, maybe? <laughs> it's freezing. Yes, all right. So warm everyone up with this answer. Oh, nice. Bad joke, okay. <laughs> here we go. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was a survivor of gender-based abuse. And without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices. Because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cavite, Kimberly Hawkinson. And now we have Cebu Province, April Smith. We'll go straight to the question. Throughout this journey, 
you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. How can I give an impact lasting in this world time around? I simply don't stop about my purpose because I myself is a positive person and I will continue my purpose and uplift each other and up to be beyond phenomenal to the other people. And I will continue to inspire many young little April Smith to continue their dreams and to achieve their goals in life because they can be beyond phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cebu Province, April Smith. All right, next we have Miss Misamis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. Here is the statement, we need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I have always believed in the power of storytelling. I believe that we can be greater during this time when we share stories that inspires, that empowers, and encourages. Because when we share stories, we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And by that, we become greater. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Amis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. All right, here we go. Mandawe City, Lou Dominic Pixon. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is greater, uh, conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. If there's something that I learned during the pandemic, it's time is constant and there's nothing that you can do once you've already done the things that you can do today. One thing that I learned through all my life that my parents have also portrayed of me is that you can never, unless you go beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. This is something that we should take into account if we were to be conditioned for greater. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Mandawe City, Lou Pixon. All right, next up, Miss Tagig, Sandra Lemanon. All right, here is the comment. Please give us your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. My greatest contribution that I can give is speaking about mental health. I've been through a lot in my life and a lot of struggles. I deal with depression, anxiety, and abuse. And what I want to say to anyone who's ever dealt with this is that don't be ashamed about it. Don't hide. Please share because we need to hear these stories. We need to um, communicate together, have open communication in our household. And that's how I'm going to contribute as a phenomenal woman. I want to be authentic and truly myself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Tagig, Sandra Lemanon. All right, here we go with Ms. Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. We need your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. The volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline. Because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I am here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. All right, now we move to Miss Romblon, Marie Faye Taharan. All right, here is your statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was born and raised in a small town of Calatrava, Romblon, where life is simple and happy. But this global pandemic changed everything. It created chaos and lost millions of lives. But we Filipinos are resilient. And that's what I'm very proud of. And that is why I want to encourage everyone to keep continuing the Bayanihan spirit. Because that what makes us Filipino. And I'm proud to say I am Filipino. 
Thank you so much, Ms. Romblon. All right, moving on to Ms. Pasig City, Rihanna Pangindian. Here is the statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. Being a Filipina and being a candidate of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, I have went through a lot of challenges that shaped me to be who I am today. And I stand here representing everyone who has been overlooked and underestimated. I believe that everyone, is, everyone can be conditioned for greater if they believe in themselves and keep the faith. And as I win this, uh, as I hopefully win this year, Thank you so much. Round of applause for Miss Pasig City. All right, we are now down to our last contender of our top 16, Miss Paraniake. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. One of the things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to really realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am. And I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are and that's the most that you can do for everybody and for yourself. Thank you so much. A round of applause, Miss Paranyake Maria Isabella Ismael. There you have it, our top 16 finalists expressing their most heartfelt thoughts about that given topic. Each one of them displaying amazing grace under pressure. Don't you agree? I would say that everyone here agrees because I can see everyone's faces because there's like 10 of us. To our frontliners here and of course to the ladies out there watching us, remember that no dream is too big. The Filipina always strives for greatness because you are conditioned for greater. We are so proud and thankful that our official hair sponsor, Cream Silk, not only gives us ultimately beautiful hair, but also shares the same vision in making the Philippines pursue greatness. Oh, isn't that ironic, me talking about hair products. <laughs> the highly anticipated swimsuit competition is up next. I'm sure everybody is excited for that. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. It is during times of crisis that we bring out the best in us. When there is fear all around us, we give hope to those who need it. When there is uncertainty, we keep moving forward. We can overcome any obstacle because this is how we are conditioned. We are greater than any challenge, greater than any crisis. We are Filipinas, and we are conditioned for greater.
You have just seen some astonishing images from the province of Benguet as displayed on our LED screens, brought to us by MediaCast Digital Group, your digital excellence, your partner in modern digital solutions. Thank you so much. Now, after hearing them speak their minds, our top 16 are now ready to get back on stage wearing exquisite swimwear designed by Dubai-based and internationally renowned Fern One of Amato Couture. Let us unveil the Miss Universe Philippines Top 16 Swimsuit Competition. Magandang dilag, puso ko yung nabihag. Wala nang ninanais, ligaya kang labis. Oh, magandang dilag. Bawat lakad mo lahat sila napapatingin, di mawa. First candidate, Biliran Skelly Ivy Florida. Let's make some noise for Aklan Cristel Abelio. Next up, Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Between sa 
It's time for Davao City, Eliza Flor Molina. Next up, Cavite, Kimberly, Billy, Hackinson. Cebu Province, April Smith. Representing Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. City, Rihanna, Agatha, Pangantian. Candidate Perriaque. Oh, oh, oh. 
Maria, Isabella, Ismael. Puso ko'y nahalina Wala nang dinanais Biyaya ng langit oh, Magandang dilag Kahit napilitin pang umiwas Iwas sa'yo self-loving things. There's no stopping a phenomenal Filipina who takes good care of herself. Skincare is self-care. Pagsabay-sabay at kapit kamay, walang hindi natin kakayan. Iisang bansa lang tayo. Pagsama-sama, may pag-asa. Because we are one Hinebra Nation. With an accompanying serenation by three of our promising performers, Alan Cecilio, Kevin Montilano, and Anjo Damiles, here is the third and final make or break round of tonight's competition. Be dazzled by the confidence and sophistication of our phenomenal top 16.
Eliza.
From their 30-second speeches to the exciting swimsuit and the enthralling evening gown competition, the suspense has undeniably been building here, just as Huawei has been building fully connected and intelligent worlds. With Huawei, anything is possible, just as anything and everything is now possible for each of our top 16 contenders. When we return, only five of them will have a chance to be crowned as Miss Universe Philippines 2020. We are back here at the first and only five-star mountain resort in our country, Baguio Country Club, with the utmost appreciation, we'd love to give that to Anthony De Leon, the general manager of BCC, for safely housing all of the candidates, the staff, um, myself as well. So a big round of applause for you and uh, the BCC. Thank you so much. We would also like to thank um, and acknowledge songwriter Kiko Salazar for the original songs that were featured in our preliminary and final presentations. So th thank you so much. Since the announcement of our official delegates eight months ago, the Miss Universe Philippines organization has ingrained in them that this pageant is not only about beauty, they also have gone through beautiful transformations to become inspiring women complemented with action. In partnership with Front Row Cares and the Miss Universe organization, our candidates wholeheartedly participated in many donation drives and charitable events before and especially during this pandemic to bring smiles to our countrymen. Please, let's all watch this. A simple, warm smile says everything will be all right. Smiles are universal. And through Miss Universe Philippines and Front Row Cares, 48 smiling angels were able to give people help and hope. And it all started with a smile of hope. Sama sama tayong humangon. Sama sama tayong magtulungan. Walang iwanan. Because Front Row cares. And now the lives of our top contenders are about to go through another beautiful transformation. Based on their average scores in their 30-second speeches, swimsuit, and evening gown performances, the judges have now come up with the top five finalists. One of them will have the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of being Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Ladies, are you ready? For the list of our top five, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of CSIP Gores and Valayo Company, our official tabulators. Thank you very much. Amazing job. All right, let me just let all of the contenders know that this by far has been the closest top five that I have ever been involved in in my 20 years of hosting. There is literally not even a single whole digit from one to eight, all right? So it is literally only fractions of a number that separate you guys. So with that said, it's time for us to now get to the top five finalists. Again, this is in no particular order. 
Here we go. Our first finalist from Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Congratulations. Also making it into the top five. Congratulations, Cavite, Kimberly Hawkinson. All right, down to our last three. Also making it into the top five. Congratulations to Bohol. Pauline Amalix from Bohol, congratulations. We are now down to our final two for our final five. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender in our top five. All right, here we go. Our final contender is from Perenyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Congratulations once again to our top five and also just a word to all of the candidates. You all did phenomenal. You are all amazing and beautiful and wonderful women. And to make it this far through all of the pandemic, through all the ups and downs, through all the trials, the struggles and the tribulations, you guys are all winners. This has been a great experience. Very, very powerful Filipino women. Congratulations. Our top five finalists are bracing themselves for the toughest round of the competition because next up is the question and answer segment with a twist. That's coming right up. Miss Universe Philippines expresses its gratitude to Congressman Eric Yap for his warmest welcome to the candidates in various breathtaking spots of Benguet. As I mentioned earlier, in this first edition of Miss Universe Philippines, we shall conduct this much dreaded yet most anticipated round with a twist. To test their ability to have an eloquent answer, uh, sustained conversation, they will be initially asked one distinct question of each of the top five. And then, this will be immediately followed by one common, relevant, and thought-provoking question for all of our top contenders. This means they won't have the time to rehearse a, uh, an answer or go over something that they have practiced in their head. All right? So this will definitely test their composure throughout the entire process. So I'm sure that everybody is ready to get this going. I'm sure our candidates are ready, our judges are ready. Consider um, everyone at zero again. Let's start with Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Hello, Michelle. Hi, good evening. <laughs> All right, I shall ask you uh, not just one, but two questions. The second of which is the same question for all five of the top five uh, candid candidates. We have actually asked all of our top five candidates to pick a number backstage. And we are going to start with you. So your first question is actually question number two. You have 30 seconds to answer this question. At the end of 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then right after that, I will ask you the question that I will ask all the other candidates as well. And you have another 30 seconds to answer that as well, OK? okay. All right. OK, thank you. Here we go. Uh, first question. If you are under strict quarantine, 
and isolation. What is the most important mobile app for you and why? The most important app during this whole quarantine was my Bible. Having faith in the midst of this pandemic was very vital to me, not only for my mental health, but also for my sanity. It got me through the toughest of times. I was able to get through others through the toughest of times. And it kept me centered. And it kept me grounded. And that's the most important thing that I would need in a pandemic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ari, you ready for your second question? Yes, bring it on. All right, here it comes. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Time starts now. As we all know, pageants are a very, very inspiring event, not only to the Philippines, but to every country who supports pageantry. It is important to stage a pageant and to show the Philippines that we are much more than our setbacks and our failures, and that we are able to co-overcome any adversity. Having a pageant symbolizes hope, and right now on this stage, that is who we are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. And now we move on to our next candidate from Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson, AKA Billy. Good evening, judges. All right, Billy, I uh, will ask you two questions. You had a chance to pick your question backstage. After 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask you another question. All right, are you ready? Okay. Here's your first question. What advice will you give to a first-time voter for the 2022 elections? Time starts now. We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens, we have to vote. We have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? I am someone who is usually an independent person. But because of this beauty pageant, I realized that I needed to ask for help that I needed to reach out to people. And same goes for everyone else. To be able to survive something as big as this pandemic, altruism should be practiced and cooperation is always the key. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Round of applause for Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson. Next up, we shall hear from Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Good evening. Good evening again. How are you? Overwhelmed, but uh, all in all, very grateful to be here. Yes, here we go. Down to the final couple questions. I will ask you two questions. One you picked backstage. After you hear 30 seconds, uh, after you talk for 30 seconds, you'll hear this. And then I'll give you another 30 seconds to answer the second question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Your first que question. What factors influence you in deciding on what to buy or post online? The factors that help me decide that is basically what I want to put out there, what I want to show the world about myself, how I want to portray myself. What matters most is that we know who we are, that we are true to our authentic selves, and that we always try our best to show and share that to the rest of the world and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Thank you. Here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Go. I think pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not, our, not all our dreams are, are canceled. They're just put on hold. And for us, we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true, to stand here, to spread hope, to rally people together in action and conversation and spark change. And together, I'm sure, 
we can make a positive impact out there on this stage. That is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Now let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> For everybody. Okay. <laughs> So I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilu Ilu City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo. Rabia Mateo. All right, now we call on our final contestant. Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. You seem very confident. It might just be my voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I will ask you two questions. You were able to pick a number backstage. After you talk for 30 seconds, you will hear a chime like this. Then I will ask you another question. At the end of 30 seconds, you will hear a chime as well. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Your first question. To a child who has never seen a pageant, how would you describe a beauty queen? I would tell that child that a beauty queen is somebody who is, first and foremost, a human being. She's somebody that is proud of who she is, but most importantly, she is somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love and productivity and somebody being authentic. And a beauty queen is somebody that we should always look up to. Thank you. Time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand at a time of crisis? In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, I have realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope, and it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant-loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what the pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any negative aspect. Thank you very much. Round of applause, Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Thank you so much. And that concludes the final phase of what must have been the longest journey of our candidates in any local pageant, actually in any pageant 
in the history of pageants. Over eight months since their red carpet media presentation in February, leaving only these five confident, beautiful, and empowered Filipinas standing right here on our stage tonight. Let's go ahead and take a final look at the five phenomenal contenders for the crown of Miss Universe Philippines 2020, starting with Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Thank you, Michelle. Next up, Cavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson. Thank you so much, Billy. Next up from Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Thank you so much, Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Next up, let's see Iloilo, Rabia Mateo. Thank you so much, Iloilo. And finally, Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Thank you so much, and there you have it. Once again, a round of applause for our five finalists. One of the major perks of joining national contests like this are the prizes that are at stake for our winner. Here is an amazing showcase of the prizes for our Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Helping us crown the first phenomenal woman is the Villarica family from Mekawayan, Bulacan, a place renowned of its center for world-class craftsmanship in fine jewelry making. They own Villarica Pawn Shop, the expert on gold and precious stones backed by a 65-year experience in empowering Filipino women. The crown is aptly named Filipina. Aside from the exquisite Villarica crown, Miss Universe Philippines 2020 will also bring home a brand new MG car, expect the extraordinary. Plus all exclusive and lucrative management contracts, endorsements, and cash prizes, including being the ambassador of Olay, Downey, Lazada, as Miss PLDT Home, and as Miss Cream Silk. Who will win these amazing prizes and emerge as the winner of the most coveted crown in the entire Philippines? Well, she is none other than Yes, it's not happening right now. I'm sure all of you guys are screaming at your TVs and your laptops like, hurry up, Casey. You're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer because we will find out very soon. Actually, right after this break. to thank our generous sponsors who made tonight's event possible. Our official presenter, Front Row, the choice of the universe. Our co-presenters, Cream Silk, conditioned to be greater. Olay, fearless, face more. Lazada, go where your heart beats. Downy, freshness that is refreshing and long-lasting every single day. Our major sponsors, PLDT Home, rediscover what really matters. Hinebra, we are one Hinebra nation. Set the fill, complete your health routine. MG, be extraordinary. Huawei, make it possible. Villarica, apot kamay ang pangarap. Grab, forward together. Javianas, home in Javianas. Biaheng busog, sa amin ang biahe, sa iyo ang busog. St. Luke's, our promise to you, patient-centered care. Nix, Institute of Beauty, grow with us, glow with us. Mark Salong, hashtag, Get marked. Game, glam artist management and events. Empire Studios. Petron, San Kamandalhin ng Buhay, Merong Kang Kasabay. Petron, Kasabay sa Lakbay. Bioche, 
We sell beauty. Manila Hotel, you are safe here at the Grand Dame. Versosa Aesthetic Clinic, beauty verified. Options PH, going for innovation. Baguio Country Club, the first and only five-star mountain resort in the Philippines. We would also like to thank our gracious hosts and friends from the government, FDCP, the Department of Health, and Presidential Spokesperson, Secretary Harry Roque. As this momentous day was approaching, many pageant fans speculated on whether she will be here to crown her successor. Well, the universe has conspired and she is here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, on the stage of the first edition of Miss Universe Philippines, please welcome last year's Miss Universe Philippines, Gazzini Ganados. As I walk in the stage one last time, in front of my beloved Filipinas, I look back on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime journey. I would like to immensely thank everyone who made this possible. To Mr. and Mrs. Araneta for this life-changing opportunity. To my team and trainers, Origin, Kagandahan Flores Cebu and Manila, and to Vault here, thank you for the time and effort you shared with me. To Mommy Carrie Santiago for all the masterpieces you've designed for me on our journey. To my Queen Sisters, thank you for being on this ride with me. To Mama Carmen and Mommy Marilou for being my strength and shield. To my supporters, Gazini T, Gazini Feed, Gazini Ninjas, and Gaziniverse. To Mommy Jonas Borses who is no longer with us now. I miss you achingly and I am grateful for everything. The universe did not only give me an experience of a lifetime, it gave me a family, it gave me a father, Gazan Iwamar. Lastly, to my fellow countrymen, thank you for rooting for me despite the odds. To all the candidates, congratulations. Standing on this stage is now a testament to how much you all had to overcome just to get here. To my successor, May you be blessed with a fruitful year ahead. As one nation, let us all join hands as we rise together from the ashes of this pandemic. Faster, better, stronger, just like a phoenix. For the last time with the utmost pride, this is Gazzini Ganados, Miss Universe Philippines 2019. Daghang salamat, mabuhay Pilipinas! To our most passionate pageant fans here and abroad, I hope you're all ready because it is now time for us to declare the new Miss Universe Philippines. I would like to call on our official representative from SGV, Sisip Chorus and Valayo and Company, our official tabulators for the final results of what must have been the toughest and closest competitions we've had in local pageant history. Our fourth runner-up is... Cavite! The third runner-up is... The second runner up is Quezon City. Only 
two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... Miss Universe Philippines organization, to our judges, sponsors, and to all of our phenomenal delegates, our most heartfelt appreciation for all of the support and participation in this year's pageant, Miss Universe Philippines 2020. 